Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to be editing this photograph from the Photos in Color community in Lightroom. Theme tune! Do 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 the dolphin do the dolphin do the dolphin do the dolphin I really know what the dolphin is, it's just my new dance move. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to be editing this photograph that was sent in by Ahmed, Ahmed Malinger. I hope I got your name correct, I probably didn't. Um, but remember, if you want me to edit one of your photographs, just head over to the Photos in Color Facebook page and send me a message or post it on the wall. The community is starting to really grow and get really exciting now, so please just, just send it all in. So let's jump into Lightroom and have a look at this edit. So this amazingly is the original and I love this photograph. It's amazing. So let's have a look down here at the metadata. We have, it was shot on a Nikon D3100, ISO 800, so the, the, the grain should be okay. There may be some though. At F22, okay, so really deep depth of field at 1 200th of a second. So there could be some blur, but I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty sharp. It looks amazing. So let's jump over here to the develop module and let's start doing this edit. So what would I do first with this? You see this amazing haze and cloud that it's going through these cable cars. That's what we call them anyway. Maybe it's a sky ride or something. Um, I don't know, but we call it a cable car. And it's going through over the jungle. So I wanna make sure today that I really highlight that all of these clouds are there. We can't get rid of them. And also let's bring out some of this jungle or forest down here. But obviously this here is the focus. Bear with me, my phone is ringing. I'm gonna pause this. I'll get back to that person later. So by highlighting this section here, because it's clearly the focus. Now, I absolutely love the composition of this. It's, it's, it's really, really well composed. So let's start off. What I would do is I'd look at it, boosting the exposure to bring some stuff out here and really blow out those clouds. But I would like to bring back the highlights just a hair because it'll help with some things down here. Let's bring down the blacks a little and the whites, I'm going to bring it down a little bit too. Okay, that's starting to look great. Let's have a look at what the contrast does. Ooh, I'm going to pull back on the contrast a little bit because I like it to be a little bit washed out. That's the feeling of this image. It's kind of washed out, it's mysterious. So that's what we're gonna try and bring out is the mystery and the excitement in this image. So I'm gonna jump straight down here into HSL because I love this jungle, but I think the green, I th I'd like to bring it into the yellows a little bit, okay? The reason for doing that, so if we look at this now, yeah, the reason for doing that is I think it makes it look more jungly and mysterious as opposed to just like bright green, okay? So let's look at the before and the after. Already I love this image. We're gonna add a little bit of that mystery back in though. The luminance, I'm gonna boost up the greens a little bit. So look at this tree here. I'm gonna lift the, the brightness of the trees, okay? And I'm gonna add it in just a little bit here too. And the yellows, oh yeah, I like that too. That's looking wonderful. Okay, so now we're gonna come back up to this section and what I really want to do is, I think I'm gonna bring some focus into it. So let's use the radial filter and let's go, let's make it around this, okay? Because that's where I want the focus to be. So I'll double click to reset by hitting effect here. And what we're going to do is I'm gonna make sure that inverted is not selected and I'm gonna pull down the exposure just a hair on the outside. So it's gonna darken everything a little bit, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna bring it back the shadows though. Can you see I want to bring these trees back, but I don't want to ruin them. Just a hair there. I like this and let's see what the whites do. Yeah, let's lift the whites. Let's make this white really washed out there. So again, the before and the after. Yep, I do like this. I am gonna bring the exposure back even more though. Uh, too far just to bring that in. Great, now I'm going to take the brush, okay? And I'm gonna boost the sharpness up and the clarity up and quite simply, I'm going to make my brush smaller. I'm gonna paint over what our focus area is. Down here, I'm also gonna highlight 
these elements. Let's boost that flow up actually so we can actually see it. Look at that. Now I'm kind of going to rush this. You might want to take more time. So let's look at the before and the after. Yeah, that's really started to lift things. In fact, let's bring up that clarity even higher and the sharpness. I'm starting to love this image. Okay, but I still need that drama. I've not got the drama in there yet. So I'm going to use the brush tool. We're going to go new. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to... In fact, I'm going to use radial filter, actually. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the sharpness. I'm going to pull this down, okay, and the clarity down. And I'm going to add this over here. So essentially, and make sure invert mask is not selected. We're going to get this amazing blur everywhere apart from, let's come in here, apart from this, so hit O, we can see, cool, that's where we're going to keep this focus. Now let's bring this in so it's literally wrapped around that. That looks great. And then we're going to take the brush tool, okay? Make sure it's set to erase, and I'm going to erase wherever I don't want it. Let's make sure that flow is up. Now, th this next part is going to be... Now, I've not been very good with this. Now, the reason is because I know that this was in the cloud, so it doesn't really matter too much. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the flow back to about 50. And then I'm going to start painting over. So it's going to blur out different areas. So if I hit O again, you can see I want to reduce this so that the line's not quite as hard. And I know that the focus plane is also going to be here. And the, if I follow the focal plane, it's going to be here. Okay, so I want to make sure that I don't reduce the sharpness of those areas. And now what I can also do is down here in the trees, you can see we've completely made this blurry, which is great for this area, but I want to bring some of this back. So using this 50% brush, what I'm going to do, in fact, I'm going to make it even less, is I'm slowly, I'm only going to paint in little areas, and I'm going to be kind of rough about this. Now, what you're going to see, the reason for doing this, is it actually brings out little tiny elements and makes it sharp, and it's going to add this little amount of depth. And you can see, I'm kind of just whipping over this, okay? If I hit O now, I can see, I'm going to actually bring it back a little bit more, and start seeing the areas that I did this on, okay? I'm going to come across here, like so, really like this, okay? Hit O, so you can see how I've brought back these little bits of tree. Okay, and it's just these little tiny highlights of things that you can do to kind of make these things come back alive. And it's going to add this, I don't know, almost like cinematic Jurassic Park feel to this. Let's also make sure we get back these areas here. Okay, I absolutely love this. So let's come out of this tool and let's zoom in and let me show you what I mean. Down in this area, look at what we've created here. We've just brought back these elements of the tree. So when we come back, it's given this huge dramatic scale to the piece before and the after. Let's add some more drama to this now. So for this, essentially, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pull this back up here, okay, just a hair. And because I'm going to actually paint this in using the brush tool, and I'm just going to raise the exposure up, and I'm going to get rid of the other things, and literally, paint over this, just going to paint over it. And I'm also going to add in by drawing some lines downwards, okay? And what that's going to do is it's actually going to add in, and again, I'm going to paint over these areas, like so. It's going to add in that little bit of a boost, bringing in the focus to where I want it to come in, okay? Which is just here. And I've also highlighted some of the tree areas. Just, oh, too far on that one, okay? That looks really great, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back the haze, dehaze a little bit, so that it does, doesn't do too much. Great. Okay, now let's do some color toning on this. So inside the tone curve, what I know that I want to do is it with the blues, I'm going to add some blue to the highlights, okay? Just so that this mist gets that blue feeling, and I'm going to counteract that by adding some red to the shadows, okay? Just... Oh, it's kind of hard on this. Just a little tiny bit. Oh, sorry, Add. I, I, I got rid of the red. That was weird. That's why I went the wrong way. There we go. So now I've got this kind of this line in the middle which has been created, which I like, but I think is a little bit too dramatic. So I'm going to come back to the blue, 
and I'm going to pull that back just a hair. And in fact, I can see it's probably in the mid-tone section here. Oh, that looks amazing, actually. Wasn't what I was going to do, but that was a happy accident. Oh, yeah, that looks amazing. So let's come out, and I'm going to go to the RGB. I'm going to lift it here, and I'm going to pull those shadows back a hair. So it's added some contrast to it. Maybe a little too much on that. Okay, this is great. But what I'm also going to do is come down to the highlights. And I want to, sorry, the, the split tone, I want to add some yellow into the shadows. So can you see what's happening down here now? It's gone a little green. So I'm gonna pull this back down to the reds. Oh, that's starting to add some drama. Look at that image now. I'm absolutely loving this. Now the final thing I'm going to do is come to the bottom here and I've got all of these primaries down here. So I'm going to actually manipulate the red primary. As you can see, as you slide it, it makes some changes. I'm going to pull the red primary down a little tiny bit to bring it back here a little bit towards the pinks and the greens. Okay. I'm going to pull it. I'm just going to look at which direct. Oh yeah. I want to go the other direction towards the yellows and I'm going to pull the saturation down a hair. Okay. And the blues, I'm just going to leave where it is. I just moved that because I was seeing what it did. So let's come back up to the top. And the final thing I want to do is I'm going to boost my vibrance, but I'm going to pull back my saturation. Okay. So it's added in this kind of a real mystique feeling. Now let's look at the before, which is a beautiful image. I love it. And the after has just boosted it all and looked amazing. One final thing that I may have done to this, so I just want to show you, is add another radial filter all the way across like this. Make sure invert is not selected. I'd hit reset and then I'd pull the exposure all the way back like so. Um, but I'm going to boost my shadows up like so. So this may have been something that I may have done and it's really added the highlight, but it's, I think it's made it too dark at the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the radio filter. I'm going to find that one and I'm just going to hit delete. I just wanted to show you what I may have done, but I decided not to. So let's have a quick look. I'm going to pull back the exposure a little bit though. And we're going to go before great image after that's where I would end up with this one. Added some mystique, brought out the sharpness of it, and it looks amazing. So that's how I would edit this photograph in Lightroom. Now, if you like this image, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the image, give me a thumbs up too. And remember to subscribe because I have loads more videos coming up. You just hit the button down here. Please leave me a comment as I have loads of questions coming in all the time. And if you want me to edit one of your photographs, just send it to me on the Photos in Color Facebook page. This is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.